Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> As usual, hi, my name is Christia. If you don't know, for those watching this over later, I am just gonna be doing another live thrift haul and showing you guys what I got. I went to two trips thrifting this week, today, and I think the day before yesterday, maybe. Um, but yeah, I have like two bags here and I want to show you what I got. Today's thrift haul was really, really good, but I'm going to start with the one that I got before then. And I'm just going to tell you guys what I got, how much I bought them for, and probably, excuse me, sorry, drink some orange juice. <laughs> um, and how, what, how much they cost and how much I'll probably be able to upsell them for. So, yeah, let's just get into this little haul because I really don't have much to talk about today, I don't think. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys what I got. So, the last place, the last video that I did, I showed you guys, I went to a new place and then I went back to that place and I did another haul from them because there was a sweater that I wanted and I went back and I ended up shopping some more. Um, so yeah, I decided to go back there and I got some more sweaters. I actually didn't go for sweaters this time. I'm trying to like wean off of sweaters, even though today's haul I actually realized I didn't get any sweaters, I don't, I don't think, which is good. Um, but I'm trying to wean off of sweaters because, um, it is about to get warm. So I'm not trying to be stuck with a bunch of sweaters that I haven't sold because no one's really buying them. Even though they'll still be listed and people will still have the choice, but I'm really not trying to have them like hair sitting with me but um yeah for the haul before that though i did get a bunch of sweaters i feel like that store has a lot of good sweaters like i feel like the selection in that store is mostly sweaters so winter time it's definitely lit i'm gonna see how it is in the summer i don't know because i've obviously it's my first year doing this but um we'll see but i got some sweaters so i'm just gonna pull out from the bag no particular order so the first one I got is this Sundance floral one, and it has like this, um, what is it, like half sip, three quarters sip, and just this puffy thing. I got this for $8. I'll probably be able to sell it for about $30. I did pick up a Sundance sweater in my last haul to the store, and it did sell. Um, it was that, what color was it? I think it was like blue maybe? I don't know. I wish I could show you, too, but I'm recording on my phone. But anyway, it was that Sundance sweater, and it did sell. It sold for $28, and I plan on doing the exact same with this. This is the tag. This is just a size small, and it's 100% lamb's wool, which is really good. Those usually go for more, and made in China. Not too special. But I mean the words made. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a good find. I know it'll sell because I've sold it before. Whether it be this season, hopefully it's this season. Hopefully it's this season and not next season. But you know, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it does sell them. The next thing I got is this. This is a really big chunky so it's really pretty and i think from what i saw this brand does go up to i want to say a hundred dollars but i might be wrong but also they had other pieces that were like a lot less than that but either way i most definitely be able to sell it oh i think it's raining guys because either that or my hair's coming up because i'm like hearing sounds but um yeah i did see the low but i'm sure i'm gonna be able to sell it for at least 20 to 30 dollars if anything so that's fine but i did see some sweaters go up in this brand for about like i think almost 100 i think i'm not sure not 100 percent positive but um anyway it's just this really pretty chunky knit sweater it has like a really long bat wing sleeve I think this is really pretty. This looks like it should cost a lot of money, doesn't it? I feel like it really does. And it's this really chunky knit. And it's also zipped down. Didn't notice that. I thought it was like throw over. 
But um, this is this brand. It's called Inis Crafts. Um, the reason why, and it's from 100% merino wool, as you can see. The reason why, oh, and it's made in Ireland, which is good because Irish wool, I feel like always goes up for more as well. Um, so I do think this is gonna sell for a lot. But anyway, the reason I went for the sweater is not because I know the brand. I'm, I'm really trying to shop off of brands that I already know right now. But I always find myself searching different brands anyway. But the reason I picked up this brand was because uh, um, I've had Aaron's Craft. I picked up Aaron's Craft. Can I speak? <laughs> I picked up Aaron's Crafts sweaters multiple times and they're also from Ireland and the font from the Aaron Crafts sweater is also the same as the font used on this sweater so I was like hmm if Aaron Crafts sells for a for like you know a good amount then this brand that looks like it could be affiliated with it sort of or whatever you know so I searched it um Aaron's Craft came up along with this brand a lot of people had Aaron's Craft with the name of this brand as well so I'm I'm guessing they are affiliated like I thought so you know sometimes you gotta use your best judgment just go off of based on how you know the brand looks because even though I had a different name I was like crafts same font same place it's made there has to be some connection here right so I decided to search it up and you know it was so that's a good that was a decent fine I didn't get any I feel like I didn't get anything amazing unless this goes for like a hundred but you know still got stuff that's gonna sell for three times at least two or three times what I bought them for so you know no 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 we just see a way to go so that's okay girls <laughs> um the next one is this John Malloy. The tag is coming off of this one. I can't remember how much this one went up for, but I think it went up for like maybe 40 But it just looks like this. And it is also wool. A lot of the sweaters they had in that store was wool. So like, if you're thrifting for yourself, Urban Jungle, if you guys want to know where that was, and you don't want to look back at the other video, which you should, because I mean, there are a lot of great finds in there too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys are in New York and you're looking for really bomb sweaters for really affordable, there's, there's there are things in that thrift store is like so affordable, which is great. Most of them is like ten or below. You won't really find anything that's over ten. If anything, it's usually like thirteen, which is bomb. Okay, so yeah, if you're looking for some really good wool sweaters for yourself, then that's where to go as well, or for sale, you know. No. But yeah, this is John Malloy, and it's just this knit button down. It's looking kind of, I was going to say it's looking kind of yellow, but this actually might be the color of it, because the yellow is pretty even throughout the sweater. It's kind of like a creamish color. Either way, it's going to, I think it's going to sell. It's really like a heavy knit. It's cute, I like it. Nice. Has a little oh has holes in it. I'm just noticing. You know guys, I really hate that when you pick up an item and you don't realize that there are defects. Look what I just noticed. Can you see this? You gotta be like so careful with these things. Cause you just never know. Like you I feel like you it could have mm, could have been gotten away with. I'm wondering if I could like patch it up a little bit, make it better. No, look how many holes is in this sweater. I'm gonna see if I can return this one because that's a lot. Like, what could have possibly caused that? Maybe it's like moth holes or something. Cause what else could it have been? It's like all over this sleeve. Let me see the other one. Yeah, there's like a small one on that one, but that sleeve's really bad. Huh. Yeah, you get the defects sometimes, guys. I really need to like focus a lot more on paying attention to what I pick up because most definitely some thrift stores they don't allow you to make returns or exchanges, I think. So yeah. That's definitely something I need to personally work on is like in the store before I put things in my cart 
to make sure that they're not defected but um yeah i definitely think i'm gonna have to put this one back i literally didn't even see this until now but anyway hopefully there's no more issues like this one but we'll just have to see if anything i do hope they can take the turns oh here's the receipt let me see we have a return policy all sales are final please come again oh my god guys is there anything important probably not but like look it literally says all, all sales are final <sighs> dang it so i just ended up with a sweater how much did i pay for this i paid 10 bucks for this i don't know if anyone's going to want it but um yeah i mean i i guess since i have it i'll just like leave it and this since it is final so i'll just leave it but um and list it to see if anyone wants it i'll just like tell them that it's defected so i don't end up with a return because that's just the worst but yeah whatever i think it'll be fine i'll either have to donate it back or it'll end up selling so yeah we'll just see what happens okay but the next thing is oh it has the same zipper look at this this Inus crafts and this Aaron's craft sweater they have the same zipper what's the difference hmm don't know but anyway this one is Aaron's craft I've sold Aaron's craft before matter of fact the last haul that I did where I picked up an Aaron's craft sweater it actually sold pretty quickly and I sold it for about 30 bucks also so I'm gonna be doing the same with this one and it's also just like this beige one and it's also longer so maybe I could sell it for more than 30 dollars but I have to see like you know how much everyone else is selling it for and I paid eight dollars for this so that's pretty pretty good upsell I'm check if any flaws are on it I don't think so I don't think I'd be that unlucky <laughs> um and then lastly which is my favorite I literally had it sitting here waiting to show you guys last because it was my favorite um I got this Elaine Fisher top or Eileen Fisher as you guys know that's a really good brand to pick up and this is made from Italian yarn from China and I only paid six dollars for it and on top of it, it's just like this really light knit shirt. And it's also a tank top. So I feel like this would be perfect for like springtime. So I think this is going to be a fast goer as well as it, as well as it's this pretty um, purple color. I sold a purple, excuse me, I sold a purple Elaine Fisher top this week as well. That was the same shade of purple. So yeah, I think this is going to go fast just because of the style of it and the type of knit. Ugh, die. It's itching me. Okay, so that's it for the first trip. I'm going to list this one anyway and put the defects in if they don't buy it in. I don't know, I guess by the end of... Maybe June? Maybe right before summer? I'll probably like donate it back, but for now... I have all these sweaters anyway, so I'm not even keep them up on them. And did the light go out? Um oh, I wanted to show you guys this also that I picked up on my way. I picked up on my way to thrifting. Sometimes, like I told you guys, people will, will like leave things on like their outs their steps and it'll be like take for free or whatever. So this was basically one of them. I actually saw so many boxes of books today. It was crazy and I literally went to all of them just in case because you'd be finding them good hitters with the books sometimes. Like before this one, I found this other one which was an, an investment book that I didn't show you guys on any haul or anything. But I got an investment book and that went up for about like $30 on um, eBay. So I posted it for like 20 to hopefully get it sold quickly and out my way but yeah you be getting them good hitters with the books so this one's also a good one this one's also about thirty dollars for a freaking for, for a freaking for a freaking book guys <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna definitely post this up and 
see how well it goes and it's also in like such good map such good um condition like it's so good 30 bucks for absolutely nothing at all nothing i didn't pay anything for this like what <laughs> It's just so funny that I'm realizing I can do this now. Because I in my mind it's literally like picking up money for free. So basically this was a bonus item that I got today. Now I'm gonna show you all the other stuff that I got. I got nine items today. I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'll make it back and I'll make it in double at least. So I just was just like I was like fuck it. I really wanted to hit my goal of a hundred items listed on my ebay account before the end of february so that's what i did and i went out and bought all this stuff because hey whatever but i got some really 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 good stuff so i'm really excited to show you guys <laughs> all right so the first thing i got a lot of madewell by the way the first thing i got is this striped sweater and it's also high low at the bottom all the things at this store was like in really good condition i think it was a new store by the way i got this all the stuff was from goodwill and it was one that they had kind of close to me so but yeah i got this striped sweater it is made well in size small i think this is probably gonna go maybe i could sell this for about 15 probably more than 15 maybe like 17 or 20 something bucks if not more what is it made out of i just saw madewell and honestly i'm just like you know what madewell put it in the box put it in the in the cart you know oh there's no tag inside oh uh, they ripped the tag off i hate that then you don't know the details but anyway it's just this madewell sweater and it's in really good condition. I saw a little stain on the sleeve, but I don't think that's anything crazy. Um, maybe someone else will be selling the same type of sweater so I could get all the details for it. But um, we'll just have to see. Hope for the best. I was like, <laughs> hope for the best. Okay. So, mm, all this stuff smells really good. Like, <laughs> I love getting. I love when they get them and they smell good. Okay. So this smells really good. This is also a Madewell item. This is a dress though. I actually felt like picking up some dresses today because I realized I, the only thing I ever really pick up are tops. So I'm like, maybe I should like try to diversify. I feel like I'm not really in the bottom section yet unless it's like athletic wear bottoms or bottoms for myself mostly. So I'm really not into bottoms that much. I really don't be seeing stuff that I... That really stands out to my eye so I haven't really gotten into that but today I decided I wanted to get some dresses so I got some dresses and this is one of them also from Madewell size zero um this, this looks like this it's very cute it's like a size zero I'm not looking forward to taking measurements for this for these but you know I have to people have been asking me for measurements a lot lately and I have been posting more with measurements on it but um yeah those questions are coming in and it's just like ah. <laughs> but I'm just gonna try to like from now on put the measurements on like everything I don't actually write the measurements in because I've heard that people will send back the measure put send back the clothing for putting the measurements wrong in the description and i don't want those type of problems so what i do is literally i put the tape measure out measure it then take a picture of the measurement and they can judge for themselves i'm not telling you what it is but that's what's in the picture you can see where it starts like you can see where it ends judge it on your own i'm not telling you anything because i don't want you to return it just because i have like half of an inch wrong on the measurement you judge it on your own sister <laughs> so yeah just want to avoid those problems i don't want to get any returns if i if it's out the door it needs to stay there okay so yeah it's just this dress has like a zipper on the back it's really actually really cute it does not look like a size zero but i'm not gonna try it on to know so yeah i guess that's up to them when i measure it 
Oh, let me put it over here. Put this. Okay. Next thing. Let's see what the next thing is. Ooh, the next thing is actually like a really good item. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna rave. The next item is actually really good. It's a Diane's von Fergusburgs. Yeah, Diane von Fergusburg. <laughs> Am I saying that right? But anyway, it's just like this really cute knit sweater. And it has like four pockets. And this is a size small. I think this is going to do really well. I feel like I'm going to be able to sell this for... I want to say... Thank you. I like this one too. I want to say it's going to go for... Uh, I want to say 100. I'm hoping for 100. But um, we'll see. I know that some of the items that they have on eBay for like this brand goes up to like 100. If I'm lucky, then maybe I can sell it for that price. But either way, I know I can be able to sell it for at least three times what I bought it for. Um, these don't have price tags on it, so I'd have to look at the receipt, which I think I put in my coat pocket, so I'm not going to get up and get that, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, everything that I bought from this store was under $10, though, but I think this is going to be the best find, hopefully I could sell it for, like, 100 and, yeah, if anything, that would be great, pay off the entire trip with just that one item. So the next thing is, I think someone's going to love this dress. Because it reminds me, if you guys ever seen the movie Selena, and then there's this, like, scene where she goes into the boutique, and then the lady's, like, racist or whatever, and then she's like, ah, we don't want the dress. <laughs> but, um, that's what it reminds me of, and that dress was pretty to me, but, you know, the lady was racist, so I totally got it. But it reminds me of that dress that was in that movie and it's just like really pretty to me and it's embroidered all over so i think that will kind of like boost the price of it hopefully maybe i don't know it's free people so i know i'll be able to sell it for a good amount if you can see that yeah so i definitely think i'll be able to sell it for a good amount and i do think it's pretty cute you know i think someone's really gonna fall in love with this dress especially for the summertime definitely it's gonna go i'm excited to sell that one i'm gonna put it in pretty packaging <laughs> i put all my favorite items in pretty packaging like the other day i think it was a sundance sweater that i finally sold oh, there's so much noise i think it was a sundance sundance sweater that i finally well not finally sold because i really didn't get it that long ago but it was a sundance sweater that i sold but i really like that sweater so i would i stuffed it that big old sweater in this little last packaging bag because i just really like that sweater and i was like you know i really wanted to be in some pretty packaging as well <laughs> so yeah i won't have that problem with that dress because I do put lighter items in the smaller packaging, but I just want to make sure I put it in my favorite design of the packaging because it's one of my favorites. The next thing, though, is this brand I've never heard of. This was one of those in-between searches from the brands that I already know because I was really trying to stick to the brands that I do know, and I feel like that's why my haul was so successful today because I was just like going through and trying to find brands that I already knew. Plus, they might have had some, like, really good stuff at this one. I don't know. But it was like a haul. But uh, anyway, it's this brand that's supposed to be French. And I mean, like, I guess hmm, from the apostrophe or whatever over the E. But I searched it up and it's a French brand. It's called Cote Cotelac. Cotelac? I probably said that crazy wrong. But it is a size 4. And it is just regular, just plain black dress. Honestly, it looks like something you might wear to a funeral. But, I mean, everyone has their own sense of style. And I am not here to judge anyone. I don't really care what you dress like. I respect you in any way or form that you come. It's fine. Just be kind and not negative. That's all that matters to me, personally. Um, yeah, like, I'm not here to critique I'm not being paid for it, so that's it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is this, 
and it is made out of, does it have a tag on me here? Let's see, probably not. Hopefully I can find um some of these items already listed so I can find all the details for them. But if anything, I think it'll be fine if I don't put like what's made of and blah 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 blah, you know, what's really important is the size, the measurements, and the style. I feel for the most part, I don't think anyone's going to be too fussy about like what it's made of, hopefully. Hopefully. But, you know, we'll see. I feel like this is also good because summer is coming, all of these pieces are light and perfect for summertime. Next thing that I'm seeing here that I'm just going to grab out the bag is this little cardigan. I really like it. I really like this color. It reminds me very much of the early 2000s kind of. You wear it like with a little bikini maybe. And it has like this like embroidering embroidering with this like knit at the bottom. I, don't, I just really like it and the strings hanging from it. And this is from Moth. Moth Anthropology. So you know that's going to be a good sell. It says a size large but this does not look like a size large. So how am I going to take measurements for this? You can ask me, but I don't know if I know the answer. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like this. I really think it's cute. I'll probably, you'll probably see me take pictures in this one because I really like it. Oh, it has buttons. I didn't even notice that. It has buttons, but it looks like it's missing one button and they sold a different button on. Let me see. That doesn't even go. Let me see. This type of thread, or maybe it was me like that. No, no, no. These are actually the buttons that was sewed on. That it kind of looked like that from the beginning. I was like, hmm, they kind of go with stuff more like this. Looks more um bohemian kind of to me. But yeah, I think it looks better without buttons anyway. To be honest, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hopefully someone likes it. I think someone will because I like it personally for myself. But that's definitely not a size large. So I really got to figure out how that's going to be measured. But that's something for not right now. The next thing is another sweater. But this is a very light knit sweater. This could be very good for spring. This might sell very quickly because for spring. And this is all also made well. Like I said, they had a lot of made well in this um haul so that's really good i'm thinking about starting to group items like group sell items like be like oh 25 pieces made well well obviously not 25 pieces because that's like a quarter of my inventory but <laughs> um this many pieces made well and you pay this price for it i feel like that would be a very good like idea but anyway this is the sweater it is a size large and that's the hat patterning pattern is and if I can see what it's made out of okay. this one's out of wool mer merino wool what I find merino wool isn't usually very special if I do say so myself in most cases so yeah but it still has the brand made well so you know I'm just definitely gonna sell and it's in really good condition so excited for that another dress this is exciting this one is a kate spade new kate spade new york this is a kate spade saturday dress it is a size zero and this is what it looks like it's in really good condition obviously because it is something that i didn't realize at first it is new with the tag i literally thought this little like thing was from the Goodwill, but then I looked at the tag and saw that it no, it was actually the tag for the item, and that is amazing because it's new with tags, so that means I can sell it for more. Look, yeah, I think this is gonna go well. I found a Kate Spade nightgown. Um, this might be like sixty bucks. I'm not even sure, but it's definitely from like forty up. But I found a Kate Spade nightgown actually. And I sold it for about 20 something dollars, maybe 20 something, almost 30 dollars. And at first I thought it wasn't gonna sell like super quickly, but then all of a sudden it sold. Like, so I was like, okay, 
whatever so i'm excited to find this one as well and it's also new with tag just like that one was so i'm like what is going on with this brand <laughs> it was the same person i don't know i feel like i'm talking forever but i have a lot of stuff to show obviously but we're almost done thank god because i feel like i've been talking forever i'm not much of a talker but um, okay we're just gonna finish this and yeah only two items left so the cashier woman liked this dress i don't know if she was just making conversation or not but it's just this like sheer green dress this like patterning on it if you can see and then it has like this like other like layering down here i personally don't think this would be my favorite dress but i mean if you dress like this it could be worn cutely maybe with some like boots and like just a jacket just like something thrown together and just like looks cute because like hey whatever you know yeah whatever but uh yeah it's also by madewell i told you guys they had a lot of madewell there i'm excited to go back at this one as well and it's also close to my house so i can literally just walk there and not even spend any money on transportation or maybe spend money on transportation to come back with stuff but not to go so that's good so yeah and it has a lot of good stuff and it was really really organized like a lot of stuff were organized by color or at least by like you know what the item was but i just feel like it was very well organized there was a lot of options and i got a lot of good stuff so it's just like really, really exciting okay i like i have like fuzz all over me i don't know if you guys could see that but yeah it's just this made well dress and share it's really light which is perfect again because it is spring it does have a under dress with it as well but still i think it's very light and perfect again for spring and then lastly another spring piece which is gonna be great because of this bold yellow color and it has like this printing on it and it's just sleeveless I feel like this is exactly this haul is exactly what I needed for the upcoming warmer temperatures because I just got so many good pieces and um, this is this HD in Paris dress this is also I believe an anthropology anthropology brand and um it is a size six in u.s and this is what it looks like it's just this really pretty yellow dress and um i feel like the prices that i saw this go for were about like was about like 30 bucks so you know i feel like this i might down price it a little bit and this could be a very quick seller so i'm really excited I'm really excited about all the stuff that I bought. I literally have like this little, well not this little, but this big like t tub here of like inventory stuff that I'm just going to put, organize and put all this stuff in right now by color. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go do right now. My head is literally itching me because I literally put, had this ponytail in for like three days. It took me like an hour to do. So I was like, you know. This thing gonna last its lifetime. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is what we have here. And that's what I'm about to do. And these are all my things for my inventory. And I'm definitely gonna get to 100 pieces by this week, I fully believe. So, I'm really excited for that. And, yeah. I was gonna go ahead and list them all tonight. But it's already, like, 12 o'clock. And I'm really trying to go to work tomorrow. But if I don't go to work tomorrow, then... If I don't wake up early enough to go to work tomorrow, then I am definitely going to take the day just to photograph all of these things and list them so we can get them in rotation so I can get more stuff and make more haul videos for you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching this haul. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Instagram later before. Be sure to follow this um, channel if you want to see more live hauls from me and interact with me as I'm doing the haul. So yeah, I was I was um, joined by the up stylist. Hi! <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, if you want to join in on our lives today, on our lives in the future, 
then be sure to follow this Instagram page, Fashion Interest. And uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and leave me a comment down below on what your favorite item was or like if you go thrifting or what's your favorite find. Just like leave me a comment down below on something because I want to get to know you guys and if you're watching I want to know if you're watching and just like communicate you know I just want to communicate I want to make friends okay <laughs> so yeah if that's what you want to do then be sure to do that if you're watching on YouTube and yeah thanks for watching again and I'll definitely see you in my next one because I love doing these little trip hauls so there's going to be another one for sure Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>